Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to rank data in a pivot table, which can be a very useful tool if you if you know how to do it and it, it's super easy to do. So we're going to get started here. Um, what we have is we have some data for a, a bike shop or a toy store looking at uh, sales for different items here. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a little pivot table really quick where we're going to use the product in the rows and then our revenue as our value. So this is just showing our historic, our total historical sales by product. So let's say we wanted to know how these different items rank. So what we would need to do is we would need to take the revenue. So let's say we wanted to rank it based on revenue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the revenue in the pivot table and drop it down under value. So this is gonna give us a sum of revenue too. So what you can do here, we're just to avoid confusion, we're gonna click on it and we're gonna go ahead and rename this rank. So now in the values, as we know there, we have the rank. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna click on rank and then go to value field settings. In value field settings, we want to go to show value as. And um, show value as, this is where we can go in and we can show the rank. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to click on rank largest to smallest. And then that's gonna give us a rank of like our, our top selling items. If we want to look, we could do it the opposite if we were wanting to look at smallest to largest, um, but we're gonna go ahead and look at largest to smallest. And then the base field is what we want to rank it by. So we're gonna go off of our, the base is the product. So we'll, we'll we've got that selected and we're just gonna go ahead and hit okay. So this is gonna go ahead and give us a ranking of all the different products that we have. So we can see that our top revenue item is the bike followed by scooter, which is uh, only about $4,000 more. And then we've got our rollerblades and skateboards. So very, very easy there to create a rank system in the, a pivot table. So let's say though, we wanted to look at rank by week, by different, by different, uh, the different products. We'll just go ahead and to do this, we're going to insert a couple more rows here because this is going to, there will be some overlap if we do this. So what we're going to want to do is take the revenue and drop it back down underneath there. So again, it's giving us sum of revenue too. So I'm going to go ahead and just rename that. And if I rename it in one of the headers, it's going to rename all of it. So rank. So again, all we have to do is when with that rank, we'll click on that again, go to value field settings, show value as, and then we want to show the value as rank largest to smallest. And again, we want to rank this based on product. We don't uh, want to do it by date. So we'll just hit OK there. And so now um, it's giving us a rank. So the sum of the revenue for bike on January 3rd is that's our top selling. Uh, that's our top selling item for that week. So we can go down week by week and see which of our items sold the most. So, and, and to make this a little easier for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this. So I'm gonna put the rank at the top. So it's gonna show me the rank or in front. I can go through and look at the bike and say, okay, you know, it's sold as the top selling item the first three weeks of the year. And then can, can monitor it that way. Um, so this is very, very helpful if you're trying to look in and understand how to easily rank data week by week or month by month, or if you just wanted a simple pivot table with a ranking of what your top selling items might be. But again, there are several different applications for the rank function in uh, pivot tables. And so please let me know if you have any other additional questions or if I can help answer any questions there. Um, and please remember to subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks.